The overall goal of this procedure is to measure the relative potency of anti-TNF alpha molecules. In this example, we compare two anti-TNF alpha monoclonal antibodies in order to determine the neutralization efficiency of one reference map versus a sample map under investigation. This tutorial shows detailed steps for the determination of the TNF alpha neutralization potency, which are not included in the literature. Cells can be stressed by different environmental factors, for instance, starvation. Each cell has different proteins on its surface called receptors. Some of them are specific for the cytokine TNF alpha. When this molecule interacts with its receptor, a specific signal is developed. This signaling, combined with an environmental stress factor, undergo to a programmed cell death called apoptosis. However, in the presence of an anti-TNF alpha molecule, which can be a monoclonal antibody, the cytokine can be titrated by the MAF, undergoing to a neutralization process, helping the cells to survive. Thus, a standardized methodology, the neutralization strength of a molecule can be measured. This protocol is currently performed during five days. On the first day, solutions for cell culturing must be prepared. Additionally, Wehi 164 cells must be tau and subcultured. On the second and third day, confluency of cells must be verified. After this step, cells must be detached, counted, cell density adjusted, and finally, cells should be cultured again. All these steps must be performed each day. At the fourth day, MAP concentration must be determined.